Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Um, <clears throat> I'm running this on DSR. This is a DSR 2560x1440 checkerboard upscaled. To it's a 1080p upscaled to 1440. It's a DSR like checkerboard DSR 2560x1440, and um, everything set to the maximum as you can see. Uh, HDR plus SSS AO. Uh, texture quality maximum uh, any aliasing uh, two times SSAA FXAA uh, reflection detail high number of world objects high so everything's pretty much set at high and it really runs smooth surprisingly runs smooth so here let me show you just one second here Now the frame rate that I'm getting is like 28, 29 frames per second, but uh, that's fine. Considering I'm running this on maximum everything and at high resolution, and uh, it looks looks really good. I'm really impressed what the Pascal uh, can do. The uh, new line of uh, thousand series Pascal GPU. That's the EVGA G4 GTX 1060. I'm, I'm surprised what 1060 can do. Uh, I can only imagine what 1070 8 gigabytes forward to win can do with more overclock uh, speed and uh, memory bus and CUDA cores. But so far, I'm, I'm very impressed here. What I'm seeing, you know, it looks great. The graphics are phenomenal, as you can see right here. Uh, this looks looks amazing. Detail, it's very sharp. The plane, it's very sharp. Everything in and around the plane, it's very nicely done and and, and sharp. And it just looks amazing. I'm, I'm really thinking about getting that uh, 1070 forward to win. Everyone told me, man, go get EVGA 1070 forward to win 8 gigabyte graphics card and it, it's overclocked it's faster has more memory bus uh, it has more CUDA cores it's a much better mid-range uh, Pascal card and <clears throat> it's just it's it's perfect people just praising that 1070 to me 1080 I don't know it's like I don't know if I I don't want to go that far, you know, 1080 is like, do I really need it, yeah. But this looks amazing, man, uh, the resolution I'm running this on looks, obviously you guys won't be able to see this, because you guys are, be watching a 1080p, uh, it is 1440, uh, DSR upscaled, but it's going to be downgraded to 1080p. I mean, downscaled to 1080p. It is a 1440p, but it's going to be downscaled for you guys at 1080p. So if you don't see 1440p, that's why, because it's being downscaled to 1080p. I'm very impressed, man, at how, how smoothly it runs. I mean, look at the graphics, man. That, that's amazing. The detail on the plane and everything just looks fantastic. Let's change the... Uh, actually, let's keep it like this. Look at that river down there and everything, man. That looks amazing. I thought about maybe doing a Battlefield uh, 1 on DSR. I might do that, see how well that runs. But man, I don't know if... Uh, <coughs> I don't know if uh, this card will be able to handle that 1440p Battlefield 1, you know. But this is a very high demanding graphically uh, game. And, and uh, if you're thinking about getting uh, EVGA 1060 I highly recommend it 
I tested the shit out of this card. <coughs> I overclocked it. I did all sorts of things with it. Keeps it cool at 49 Celsius. Uh, as you can see, this is everything maxed out, 1440p, and runs pretty good. So uh, 1060 is definitely a good entry level to a 1000 series card, Pascal cards. Great entry level Pascal card. I highly recommend it. As you can see, the detail is just amazing. I'm going to try and zoom in a little bit so you guys can see it better. Hold on. Here I have zoomed in for you guys so you can see a little bit better. And uh, looks great. It really does, man. Look at the clouds down below and everything. It's amazing. Now, should I try to switch it back to uh, maybe a higher resolution? I don't know. I thought about it, but I think 1440p is pretty good. It runs really good at 2560 by 1440. With everything maxed out, guys. This is like everything maxed out, as you have seen. Uh, 25, 60, 1440. And it looks great. Let's see if I can do maybe uh, uh, change the resolution to higher, something higher. Hold on. I'm going to go and uh, see if I can bump up the resolution here to uh, maybe I'm gonna go with uh, 2103 hold on 1440 33 23 now let me go with 2715 by 1527 how about that just give me one second. I'll be right back. I'm just loading it. Uh, resolution. Uh, okay, so now let me show you really quick what's going on here. Hold on. It's just it's putting it in. You'll see in a minute. All right. So here I bump it up from 25, 60, 1440 to 27 15 15 20 so we're getting pretty much a 2.5 K resolution which is pretty good man considering guys I am running this you see everything's maxed out man uh, maximum HDR SSAO uh, texture quality maximum no compression uh, any lacing two times SSA double a FX double a two times reflection detail high number of rolled objects high so this is like pushed to the maximum uh, so <clears throat> let's see how this runs on uh, 2715 by 1527 all right let me uh, move this here a little bit the GeForce experience uh, it looks great man I mean, you look at the detail. It's just like amazing. So this is 2.5K, which is like a quarter of a 4K. With maxed out everything, and uh, it looks great. And I remember you guys won't be able to see this uh, because... Well, because uh, it's being downscaled to uh, 1080p. So let's continue. So like I said, I I'm really impressed by um, what this card can do so far.
I mean, sure, there's some slowdowns here and there because we remember we're running this at, at 2.5K resolution. It's a very high resolution and everything's set to maximum. So you got to remember that. It looks great. looks gorgeous. I mean, I, I can see it from here. The reflection and the detail it's it's amazing we're gonna descend down a little bit man this looks amazing dude And here I am with the 1060, man. Imagine what I'd be able to do with 1070 or 1080. I'm doing a little nosedive. I mean, look at the detail on that plane, man. It's like, it's, it's ridiculous I could try 3k see how well this would run 3k I could try that you know anyway just give me a second I'll, I'll leave it paused like this I'm gonna leave it paused like this and I'm gonna go ahead and try to bump it up to 3k all right so just uh, hang in there you'll see this paused plane like that while I'm setting up my uh, screen resolution uh, with the DSR and all that so I'm gonna bump up my uh, DSR to 4k resolution see what I can do if I can bump it up to I think you guys are gonna see it right here while I'm loading it up so just hang in there to see what we can do uh, there's a DSR DSR features let's click on it let's put all of them uh, let's see but I'm gonna try to go to 3k to see how well does it handle the 3k let's apply that And this also proves to me that all I honestly need is a 1070 forward to win. If I can do this now with, with 1060, then honestly all I need is 1070. I think uh, it's spending any more money than 1070 forward to win is ridiculous. <coughs> Even Jay-Z said, man, hey, man, for you, you can run a decent 4K with a 1070 forward to win. I mean, I mean, look, I mean, if you want to have a super high-end performance, 60 frames per second, then you get 1070 SLI. 1080 SLI, you know, or you get a Titan X uh, Pascal. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and change resolution here. I'm going to do that right now. And uh, I'm going to switch it to... Hold on a second. I think we might have to reset the game for this stuff to take uh, to take a notice. Hold on. Hold on a second. Let me try this one more time. Um, yeah, the problem is... Um, I cannot do it now because I have to reset this game, but I'll try it in the next video. You know, I'm going to end this video. I might try it in the next video, see how well it works. But uh, as, as you can see, this plane and the way it's... Uh, here, let me rotate around the plane a little bit so you guys can see it. 
let me move this out of the way, man. Uh, it looks great. It really does, man. Uh, considering that I'm running everything at the maximum resolution, and it's at uh, 2.5K resolution, which is a quarter of a 4K. So 2.5K resolution with everything maxed out. Uh, it looks pretty good, man. It looks gorgeous. Now, obviously, if I plug this into an HDR TV, it would look even more gorgeous. But I'm still impressed the way it looks, man. This is very, uh, very g impressive looking, you know. It's really nice, man. Really smooth. Um, so, uh, let me go ahead and... Uh, upload this video so you guys can see it and I might come back with the next video see if I can push the uh, 3k see how it looks with a 3k DSR remember this is not a native uh, resolution these are the, like upscaled resolutions uh, obviously if this was native source uh, it obviously it'd be much uh, <coughs> there'd be a lot of bottleneck obviously but it's still impressive what what this card can do and how cool it keeps it you know we're talking mid-range card so it really does a pretty good job this is why I highly recommend this over 480 XFX because uh, I had nothing but issues with the XFX 480 I'm not saying that the 480 sucks I'm just saying stay away from XFX uh, maybe I had a lemon card when I bought it <clears throat> I don't know maybe maybe not but it wasn't just me that had the same issues a lot of people had the same issue with that card so okay so I'll come back with the next video with a three point with a three K DSR upscale resolution. Okay.